Hi everyone, it's WGMZCI here. How you doing? Welcome you back to Let's Play. Dragon Quest 11 S. Last time around, we confronted Jasper. And I honestly thought that this, that last time was going to be the final episode. But it looks like today may be the final episode. Maybe. If, if we live. Because through this door, through this door right here, is the final bosses, plural, of the game. Scared? But, we gotta do it. Just, uh, we just need to, uh, confront our fears. I'm so scared. Oh yeah, that, that definitely, that de-equips the, uh, the flying shield. It needs defense. That's why I have that. Alright, normally, yeah, I'm actually going to have... Yeah, I'm going to have this. This team right here. Oh, the feeling is not considered flying, so I might just... Well, she still does good damage work. Alright, let's do this. I don't think he, I don't think he has disruptive wave. Oh, he does. He does have disruptive wave. I sense pure evil on the other side. It can only be him. Evil. Mordigan. At last, the time has come to face him. Go to face my master, Henry. But know that you will do so alone. Your friends here will be staying with us. Oh, really? <laughs> no, he shall not go alone. I swore an oath. I am the Luminary's sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. We all are. We're in this together. If we face Mordigan, we face him as one. Aye. If you think I'm missing my chance to get revenge for my Eleanor after all these years, you've another thing coming. Don't worry, darling. I'm with you all the way. We're going to bring smiles and sunshine back to the world if it's the last thing we do. Yes. I promised Veronica I would finish this. 
And that's a promise I mean to keep. You heard. We're in this together. I'm not leaving anyone to suffer alone. Ever again. I'm supposed to help the Luminary. And that means to the bitter end. <laughs> I mean, literally, they're literally, they are literally, okay. They are literally doing the Dragon Ball thing. No, I am not beaten. I cannot be. Master, just one more chance. Please! It is over, Jasper. Be still. No, I cannot die yet. I have yet to surpass you! You speak of surpassing me, but in truth it is I who always followed in your wake. You were the one who spurred me on, the light that guided me. Without you, I would never have become myself. How is it that you never knew? Hendrik, I, I, It is time. Mordigan must pay. Indeed. Alright, so just in case I... Just in case I have to watch that cutscene again, I'm actually going to go back and save it. So we don't have to sit and watch that cutscene ever again. Just in case we die, just in case we die. Oh, don't do that to the game. Oh, 
Come on. Here. Nice, we got it. Well, um, that's unexpected. There's life in the old dog yet. That was very unexpected. I did not expect to get that. <laughs> but we got it. Uh, 16, 16, 12, 16, 14, 12. I think I do have to get that the one that's 12. Enough right from here. Yeah, no. There was eleven. Enough room in here. Sixteen. 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 No. Well, I definitely didn't anticipate that. <laughs> I did not anticipate getting a freaking um a freaking metal slime. Now part of me wants to go out and save it again. Give give auto saves, right? I think you give auto saves whenever you go into a new place. So I don't want to sit and do that. But I didn't know that you could get Metal, or Metal King Slimes here. I guess I should have guessed that. I definitely should have guessed that. It's fine. I didn't even need to do it for Jade, but it's fine. Finally, transport transporting to the Palace of Malice. There's a toggle here. There's a. S okay, sharp. You know what? We're saving it. <laughs> There's a seed point there. Let's do this. An aura of ultimate evil emanates from an end. It must be the Lord of Shadows. Are you sure you want to enter? Game's like, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I am sure.
Nice chair. Slightly jealous of your chair. I want a chair like that. So you have come, Luminary. But you are too late. The source of life is no more. Erdria is veiled in darkness, and I reign supreme. Yggdrasil is dead. You are not but leaves blown on the wind. until your kind finally dwindles and dies. Alright, it's time. Wardigan, Lord of Shadows. He has 5,500 hit points. He can summon clones that, are, that have 800 hit points. Recommended level according to this guide is 49 to 50. He has uh, regular attacks that deal about 150 hit P damage, critical attacks that do 250 part hit, um, he has Frizz, Kazam, he can do Power of Darkness, he can do Cut Above, he has Great White Wave, which is basically getting rid of all party buffs, and he has Dream Magic as well. He has a lot of bad things. In fact, he has pretty much all of the bad things. Like, just, just imagine all of the bad things and, and... and give them to him. <laughs> Let me try and... stop him. Yeah, so whenever he summons his uh, doppelganger, you definitely get rid of it first.
Cosmo takes the stage. Take it. Yeah, you definitely try and. I don't think this is working though. For more heal. Here, princess. I flop me at that. I don't. I don't think he can be affected with status effect. So if I guess I should just stop trying. I call upon the power of the old. I will. Oh, he can just do that? Okay. Leave it to me. I call upon the power of the old. That. Nice crit. I don't know if you get XP for this, but I'm, I'm gonna try it. Here we go! I call upon the power of the old. Shadow, okay. hear me. Get 
Darn. Is that all you've got? Yeah, they get rid of you immediately. You can't switch out. Yeah, you can. Okay. You rang, honey. Let the darkness. I, I was about to say, I assume he's dead. So much damage. Don't know, more heal rab just in case. The cut ball on top of that. Gonna full heal Hendrick. Attack. Like that. Sing stick on Jade. Shadow. Go for dead again. No, wait, that's a double ganger, that's okay. Nice crit. Got a full heal Jade. Take it. stone. Full heal. Here. Ah, I have such a stone. needs 
least more heal on Jin. Take it! My turn. I call upon the power of your That's okay. It's basically a free attack. <laughs> We need to fight and fight. My Missed the flight to the enemy as well. That'd be fantastic. Of course, it doesn't. How did I survive that? Don't know if I should risk it or not. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yeah, so multi heal does heal more than the Sage Stone because it uses itself off the magic bending, but still. Okay. These games. I am Mordigan, master of all things. Is it possible to master of all things? The power of the sword. All must be destroyed. Boss, we have Mordigan and Mordigan's Teal. They both have 5,500 hit points. Recommend at level 49 to 50 again for whatever reason I don't know. And yeah, you didn't, I didn't get Hallelujah bonus. Good to know. Um, yeah, th this is this is tough. Um, so, as you can see, we have first off we have Mordigan's Teal and Mordigan itself. When Mordigal kills out, he can only target him. I wonder if he's guessing it as flying. I do wonder that. I wonder if that's a thing. So yeah, the... This is this is the final boss. He's he's pretty tough. He's kind of flying. That was one, two, six damage. No! Yeah, I don't think he could be affected by that. So not even gonna try it. Just do regular attacks then. Take it. Oh yes, he can still attack from there. Oh. 
yeah, head drop does more, so he's not considered flying. Let's crit. Let me count as a dragon. Alright, that's where they switch. So they switch around whenever they do, whenever you deal 1,500 hit points to them. So be aware of that. But eventually they will both come out. Apparently you can just block magic. Take it. Done enough damage, eh? Yes, both of them are it now. <laughs> well, they're both fight. As you can see, one of them can just gobble you up whole and take you out of the turn order. Now, what you have to do here is you have to make sure you kill. Uh, Mordigan first, i.e. Mordigan's heal, I think? I think. Here! I might need to look this up before I start attacking. Well, I'll use the turn to attack.
checking. He's not dying, he can't. Take it. That does hit them up both. Try not to defend. William out to defend. Here goes nothing. Do your worst. Oh, one of those. That's the case. Where I need Serena just to heal consistently and constantly. I thought it was a, an attack. I thought it was an actual like attack attack. It's not. Yeah. It's crit. Is that key for magic first? It might be. That last a long time. Can't even be switched to places with. We'll soon get that sorted. This 
threat. Okay, well now that I know what I know, I might do a full heal on Jade. Now that I know that it, it's not like an attack an attack, if that makes sense. Oh, you don't have it. Fuck. So I switch to you. Oh, that was okay. Yeah, this is bad. So now that I know that's a thing. I need, I need Solando back as soon as. Or I need a. Uh, Rob's back to Naz. Serena. No. Okay, well I can full heal Rab. Save the stone. Didn't need the crit. Did not need the crit. Here you 
a regular attack. Ugh. Okay, we're back to normal. Need some Relatively. Just a normal attack, I think. Okay, so this is where I died a lot. Here goes nothing. Yeah, it's hard to know which one you'll do. Which one's right? Take it. Shall not 
We keep trying to lower the fence. Take it. Alright, the shock of wave, I forgot, but it's the shock of wave. The point in, in trying to buff them. Oh, power life. That's a bit rough. Take it. Well, I was correct. In that you should kill this guy, this one first. <laughs> GG's! And of course, we killed him with the hip drop. Of course we did that. But I am Mordigan, master of all things. My reign is not over. It cannot be. A classic luminary. Is it over? Serious voice reverberates around the moon. The room. I said moon. You so why is it moon well for? To defeat Mordegon. Thanks to you, life and light will return to Erdria at last. Was that we need to get out of here now
the wind fish. I know I made that joke before, but it literally is. We finally got rid of more than oh. Yes. But so many lives have been lost. <gasps> Look, that light! Mordigan's passing must have freed the heart of Egdrasil from his clutches. I wish Veronica could have been here to see this. <sighs> I think it's time to go home, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> And that, folks, is the end of the game. The end of the base game, I should say. There is technically a third act, which is unlocked after you beat the game. Only, I, I, I think, only after um, you beat the game and only on Dragon Quest on the S version. So this is the end of the base game. So yeah, this this is the game. Um, I'm surprised this Let's Play didn't wasn't as long as I anticipated it was going to be. I anticipated this was going to be longer. Um, I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Um, but that's not a bad thing. I'm actually glad that it was like not as long. Um, but, but I'm glad. I, I'm glad we finally beat this game. I've never actually beat this game before, up until now. Um, yeah, though this game's really good. Um, I love Dragon Quest VIII. I love this game. Like, I think I like this game more, actually, than Dragon Quest VIII. That's a tough call. Dragon Quest VIII is still really good, though. It's, 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 it's like in the upper, upper echelons of... of uh, how many Puff Puff Girls are there? There's so many Puff Puff Girls! Why are there so many Puff Puff Girls? Why are there so many? There's, there's so many Puff Puff Girls. Do we need all that Puff Puff? I guess we do. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I, had, I had fun with this game. I'm finally, I'm glad I finally beat this game. Um, now, obviously, I do want to talk about one little thing. Um, during this, the recording of this Let's Play, um, the creator of the Dragon Quest series, and indeed Dragon Ball series, and many other series, um, Akira Toriyama, had unfortunately passed. Um, I, I, I'm gonna dedicate this let's play to, to, to him, 
for making the Dragon Quest series and Dragon Ball and Blue Dragon as well and, and other games as well. Um, the, the, and, and Chrono Trigger. The effect he had on games is something that not very many anime uh, producers had. Um, so yeah, I am 100% dedicating this Let's Play to, to Akira Toriyama. Um, even though I was never really a Dragon Ball fan, um, I am a Dragon Quest fan. So, Toriyama, Sensei, thank you. Thank you so much. Arigato, as, 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 you, as I should say properly. But, with that being said, I will let the credits roll. If there's any, any further cutscenes after the credits, I'll let those play out too. But yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Quest XI S, don't forget to leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment uh, to come part of my community. It's been fun, positive, and free all. As I said, we're not done. The bonus episodes will be act three, and all of all that lies in wait for that. So, as I said before, like, comment, subscribe, etc. I will, of course, see you again. I forgot to mention, um, I actually forgot to mention, um, next Let's Play won't be announced until after I finish the bonus finale of this game. But I'll give a hint to the next Let's Play. The next Let's Play is one of my favourite RPGs of all time. So, that's the hint. <laughs> but yeah, we now will be doing bonus episodes on the days of the normal Let's Play days. It'll mean, that it'll mean that Let's Plays will take slightly longer to do, but for my mental health and for physical health, I want to not stream myself. So, yeah, we'll do it that way now. Like that final fight was a, was quite tough, but whenever whenever he did that mighty magic first, I was we almost all died. Uh that was rough, but we did it. We did do it. Game is still adorable.
that's the clearly act free. And the bodiless act serves. Da and. <laughs>